Greetings, my fellow geologists, and welcome to Rogue Tower, the most addictive game on the internet. So, if you remember last time, we got into some particle cannons, but there's two new towers that I really want to try the Shredder, which we have now got fully upgraded, and also the Obelisk. So, these two should be interesting. So let's see if we can beat our previous defense record of level 39. We've actually got a pretty nice housing start placement. So I'm going to put a tower here and here. It may seem silly because they're not very well placed, but actually that means that now these towers, like this one for example, is protected by two because it's got one either side. That's going to give us an extra little bonus amount of gold, so probably worth doing. We'll also stick one here so we can actually, you know, shoot the enemy that's going to come around the corner. Um, what are we going to go with straight from the off? Wow, what a miserable selection of choices. Not really anything we want, but we'll probably just grab the mana bank because we know we'll certainly need that later on. Let's just get an extra ballista down. Um, we'll also throw a ballista up on here. And we should be able to deal with a few enemies that we get on these early waves. Um, what else? A flamethrower tower. Yes, please. That is definitely what we want. And let's just expand to see placement. Yeah, we can fit one nicely up there, and then that can burn them as they all make their way around here. Let's just spend a little bit of money upgrading the health on it as well. Um, we are certainly going to want a frost keep, we are certainly going to want a mortar, and we are going to want a poison sprayer. Let's just grab that frost keep, move on. Nice, that does unlock us, this little ripsaw, the tower shredder, the thing we wanted earlier on. I think they're quite expensive though, 500 gold! That's not going to be very cheap for us to unlock. We have now got a slightly better valley. But I am slowly starting to run out of mana. I may have built these tower keeps perhaps slightly a little bit too early. But we shall see. Hopefully, uh, one of these waves, we're going to get a mana bonus. But as you can see, they're actually really quite effective. And we've got one on either side in terms of slowing down the enemies as they try and get through this gap. This is going to be the, the Valley of Death. Nothing shall escape. At least, that's kind of vaguely the plan. As long as we don't completely run out of mana. Although, there is still that risk. So, let's see. It's soon we're going to be okay on this wave, but... We're up to level 11 already. It's going to start to be getting quite a bit harder, quite a lot quicker soon. Hey, we finally got ourselves some mana siphons. They are badly needed. Let's get a few of these guys in so we can actually start to slightly increase our mana production. Although we're really actually short on mana crystals, to be honest. Is this a plus two there? No, it's just a plus one. So I don't feel too bad about putting them on there. Bonk. And then... Oh, we haven't got enough for another one. But that puts our mana production to nine. So hopefully we should be a little bit happier and actually we just got another another little mana crystal there as well. I'm happier. The mana situation is improving. I think we're going to be getting back up. We're not going to have quite such a crisis as we did earlier on. Nice we've got our little shredder here as well still. We've got another plus two so we can probably get maybe maybe a poison sprayer. We'll get sort of set up on here because that can maybe get some early shield damage in. And then we can start to get our flame towers set up and the valley of death shall soon be complete. Um, we should hopefully get enough money here for a poison tower. There we go. But let's set this to focusing on shields. We don't actually yet have any shielded enemies. But we will. We will. So we've got to get that damage in. And look, we're now getting bleed and poison nicely stacked together. Yes. We're not even making it through the Valley of Death anymore. And we've still got quite a nice straight line yet to capitalise on. We've been quite lucky with how our road has developed out that we've not yet hit a junction. I'm sure we're going to very soon. It's almost inevitable, but actually it's been really kind of helpful to be able to kind of go this way. It's going to give us a good chance of setting up quite a lot of defences and hopefully stacking some good bleed damage and stuff as well. Come on. Take him down. Don't let him get through the valley. Bop, and the mortar gets in as well. Nice. Okay, so what are we going to be building next? Um, well, plus two damage to ballistas would be quite useful actually stacks up so you can see that's now plus four health damage to the ballistas oh we've got an oogie but we still we've got another valley of death oh this is looking like actually a really good time for us i might since we're quite early on in the game just get a couple of blisters next to this house because then it'll be giving us a good gift next time as well we've also got three over here now as well because you know enemies walk past this section and they can very slightly help defend the final base point as well it kind of kind of seemed worthwhile uh, so we've got a poison sprayer going in. We do want to get in probably another um, shredder here at some point. Maybe up here would be a good spot. There's also an opportunity here, but oh there. Oh, there's loads of really nice opportunities for it. I think we'll get one nice and up out early though. So probably go up here with one. As long as we can deal with Oogie okay. I suppose we should save our money just to make sure we can actually deal with old Oogie Boogie before he becomes too much of a problem for us. 
But I want to go for the win this time. Apparently, level 45. That's the win. Oh, look at the amount of health damage he takes now in the Frost Keeps. Oh, that stacks up some damage on him. That does some serious damage. Just got to make sure he still takes damage as we go through. But yeah, we've got another two Flame Towers here. Look, he's almost down already. Yeah, I'm not concerned. I'm so confident we're going to get our little Shredder in place. Because he can get a little bit of extra health damage. And then at the start of the next round, we can start to build up here. And we've got down here to build up as well. There's, there's really a lot of opportunities. Oh, look, my little ballistas can go to work. I to pop down Oogie, get the damage on him. Go on, last couple of shots. And there he goes. Nice, 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 nice. We've just got a couple of last people to deal with. We can nicely burn alive. So we move on to level 20. Things are starting to get a little bit harder now. The armoured enemies are a little bit more difficult to deal with. We are slightly approaching another mana crisis, so I'm going to get a little another mana back down. We've tried to take advantage of all these little mana siphons, but they're actually pretty difficult to deal with. I do want to get another shredder down, probably up here, so that it can kind of shoot down this run here. We get a good bit of damage out of some of these shredders here. They do quite a lot of work. You can see the amount of stuff that it kills and the amount of damage that it gets in, but still, it's got quite a lot of work to do. And we're trying to set up a little bit of a shield death trap here with this double double poison tower, double frost keep. See what we can do in the long term. Get another little tower up here. It's just going to be our main little, uh, little shredder. So we've got shredders all along the route then, basically, now. Things are going to get more difficult. I think at level 25, I think we're going to get a zombie yugi, which is the real shieldy one, which is kind of hard to deal with. We haven't got any particle cannons set up. Although we've still got an obelisk to build, which could be a good viable option. They don't have loads of range, I don't think, but they could go somewhere like somewhere down here. Maybe this sort of a new valley of death somewhere around here, which could be quite interesting. But I just don't think we've got the mana to support one at the moment. They draw an awful lot of mana. And without being able to get sort of our total amount of mana upgraded, I think we're going to kind of struggle a little bit. I think it's got that potential anyway, so kind of want to get that dealt with. Uh, might upgrade a little bit of shield damage on some of these little poison towers. So they've got a bit of damage and we can kind of level them up. Level 25. Our, our mana situ situation hasn't still massively improved, if I'm honest. But I've kind of decided where I want my little Evo's Obelisk of Death to go. I think we're going to have it up here. I should give it a good range. And because Obelisks mostly target armor, my kind of feeling is I want their shield to have already been dealt with by the Poison Tower before the Obelisk can then kind of go to work. Plus, my feeling is it might not get quite so much use over here, at least initially. So we might get some chance to try and keep the mana situation at least in part under control before it gets too critical. Our little uh, Shredder's now up to 250% on the bleed damage. It means they're getting so much work in. But hopefully stuff has got enough damage by the time it gets here. But come on, let's do it. Let's make the investment. We have our little obelisk, our little pyramid of death. And actually it has really quite a good range to it. It should be mostly uh, focused on armor, so we might have to spend a little bit of money upgrading that. And obviously make sure it focuses armor as its target priority and then just progress after that if there's anything left. We might be able to squeeze like another second one in somewhere else. Perhaps a little bit later on, maybe just on one of these tops here we could take one of these ballistas down and squeeze a second little obelisk in so we get a real sort of effective tunnel here. Quite a bit of stuff starting to pile into the uh, first section. Actually starting to get through here a little bit and on, but still quite a lot of stuff cutting them down. Uh, Zombie Yugi actually still in very good health, which is a slight concern. We don't have the usual particle cannons to deal with him like we normally do. Although most of the other stuff is dealt with, so we should start to receive the full focus of the towers here soon. I kind of hope his health is going to start to go down a little bit quicker though. He's going to start to take Ballista Fire now. But yeah, not quite as much as I was I was hoping, if I'm honest. Oh, okay. Yeah, now the, now the poison towers are kind of doing their work. Targeting the most shielded... Obviously stacking up quite a bit of that poison damage. And he's getting this slow from the frost keeps. Down to half his armor gone. Hopefully if we get him down to just a quarter armor left by the time he leaves the zone. Then that won't be too bad. Yeah. Oh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. We're going to be okay. I had some concerns there for a moment. But I think we're going to be good. I think we're going to be good. As he gets out. Because he's going to come into range of this um, poison tower here as well. And look at the amount of stacks of bleed and damage and we've still got the little shredder trying to lop his legs off as he gets past there we go it's going to be on to health damage now there we go and the rest of this stuff oh the obelisk has opened up the beams of death 
God, how long of mana it draws down. <laughs> I love that obelisk. That beam of beam of very intense energy. <laughs> That's really kind of epic. On to level 29. And things are starting to get even more difficult. We've got a few extra shredders placed out now. I'm just trying to really reinforce these. Got the second little obelisk tower of death set up. Might get a few ballistas actually just put on some of these lower points here. Because um, they're quite good for just adding in that extra amount of damage. And so you can see sort of the amount of ballistas we've got now going to shoot into this valley here. Not to mention the fact we've still got a pretty well up armoured little front section. And of course, basically the entire basically enemy army is bleeding before they make it there. You can look at the amount of shredders there are zipping around the base. It's really kind of quite cool. I might even think about getting a few more set up here as well. It's just trying to find the elevation suitable for them all, but I think we might try and get one sort of maybe up on some of the high ground, maybe here. Might be quite a nice spot. Yeah, that covers a decent area, doesn't it? Let's get some health upgrades on it. Let's check how the enemies are doing. They're starting to breach this area a little bit now, but the slowdown's really doing good work. Uh, getting in, look, and not a lot has got any armor left, mostly just health enemies. But the poison tower's obviously stacking up. Few things getting through, but not too much. And we've actually still got a really good amount of defense here. And they've still got a long route round and a few little bits kicking around later on. And of course, we've got time to get other stuff down. So, yeah, looking pretty okay at the moment. I kind of hope we're going to get a university soon. Um. Oh, all towers gain plus 5% crit chance. Could be kind of nice. It's not huge, but when you think of that map, ballista shots, shredders and stuff going in, 5% crit chance actually isn't that small. The obelisks are getting put to work. They're doing their job. They're doing the armor zapping. Got a few of these real tough guys starting to make through. But look, the little obelisk deals with the armor. We didn't have that too much problem. And we've got that second one there, remember, if it comes a problem. Nice. Obelisks finally earning their keep, even if they... Or a little expensive on the mana front. Okay, we've finally got our first little occult shrine here, so we can actually now get a university built, and now they can start to research. See, they've already got this kind of base upgrade in place. So we'll wait till we get a little bit of money, but before the end of the round, we can um, actually research this stuff, and you can start to see that you get, you know, an increased chance as you go through. I think health is really kind of the main thing we want to want to kind of focus on. I think. It is quite expensive, but we're up to 7% chance of getting a global health bonus next time around. We have also set up a little bit of an obelisk. I kind of decided it was worth eating the uh, the mana cost because we've got such armoured people coming down now. And it just really is good for dealing with the armour damage. I may, if the mana can possibly support it, may even stretch to another one up here. Because it really targets all these most armoured enemies. Because they're the ones that are really kind of the hardest for us to deal with. It's just a real drain on the old mana pool. We have now got the proper sort of 6% of the total percent increase, which is nice, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. So we're going to try, try and hope. We can hope. Up to level 35. <laughs> I think this is going to be the hardest one yet. We're going to, should, I think, have another boss coming out. Um, where is he going to be coming from? Yeah, here we are. Here he is, Robo Oogie. He's not going to be super easy to deal with, I don't think. But hopefully, if we can get through that shield damage, then the obelisk should be able to really focus fire down that um, enemy armor damage. And then hopefully we can kind of deal with it. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. I've just been getting a few extra little ballistas placed in some of these spots around here. Because we've got a few little gaps, which are quite nice to kind of fill. Because remember, the ballistas also do slow damage. We have 10% slow applied to them. They're actually quite nice for just slowing down a few of these enemies a little bit like that. And then that means you can get the more damage in a little bit easier. So they're kind of worth having, I find. Uh, let's get one in there. Oh, we've got a lot of stuff. Look how much stuff we've got coming out. And the fact that so much of this stuff is now armoured means I think our shredders are having a little bit of a harder time dealing with some of it. Our obelisk towers have really kind of become more important, I think, in terms of getting down. Oh, the Ruburugi currently still completely full health because we've got a lot of stuff to deal with already. A little bit more concerning. A little bit more concerning. Uh, mana situation is kind of holding out at least. Oh, missiles have been deployed. It should be dealt with. Stuff starting to make it to the to the original Valley of Death. We have still got a lot of ballistas and stuff there. And here comes Roborigi, basically full health. Going to start some of the um, poison towers. Starting to chip through 
the damage a bit. And he's getting a little bit of slow on him from the, some of the ballista towers. That's good. That is really what we need. We need that for the damage. Let's get a couple of extra ballistas up. Just so they can keep that slow applied to him over the next area. Because now he's basically the only remaining thing. And I should have thought that that should be enough to basically keep the damage on him throughout the duration. A couple of extra ballista towers there. Just got to get through this armor. And then at least once we get through, sorry, the shield. Then we know that our little obelisks should easily be able to deal with him. Oh God, he's slowed so much. He's soon going to come into range of these poison towers. Okay, they've opened up on him. Should mean his shield goes down pretty quickly, which it now has. Oh, he's got a fortify. He's deployed a few enemies and he's got gained a bit of speed back. Flamethrower Tower's trying to work through that chunk of armor. And he's soon going to be in range of the next, next obelisk, which should start opening fire at this point here. So, I think we're going to be okay. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. A little university down here. Still got some work to do. That's up to 15% now on the health studies. Hopefully, if I can actually start to gain some benefit from that, because we've not really got much yet from it, which has kind of been a little bit disappointing. Still taking some damage. Where's the obelisk going to fire up? Oh, first little bit of damage. It temporarily goes out of range again. But now, yeah, that should do the work. Look how quickly his health starts to go down now. And before too long, the second one's going to open up on him as well. And all the ballistas, and the frost keeps, and the flamethrowers, and the mortar. Oh, look at that. Now he's going down quickly. He does not stand a chance. No Robo Oogie can get through my defences. He deployed a few more minions, but even so, it's going to be not enough, I don't think. There we go. Come on, just keep taking him down. Last little bit of health on him. Got quite far, further than I thought he was going to. And there we go. Whew. Okay, that went well. So what are we going to go for? I don't think there's any point in particle cannons at this point in the game. Could go for the lifesteal for the extra mana recovery, but... Perhaps going to go for the Frost Keep Freeze, which sounds quite nice. Could be kind of handy. And we've got the treasure chests. Um, burning enemies burn fast, faster based on how much slow they have, which could be useful, actually. Let's go with that, because we've got a lot of burn on our towers. Um, flames gain two damage to armor. Okay. Oh, we've got one more as well, which is nice. Test the tower don't want. Probably the poison damage for the poison sprayers. Because we do have quite a few poison sprayers actually deployed. Okay. Let's move on. Um, let's get some more little ballistas down. Wherever we've got any sort of elevation around here. I think they're well worth having. And they do get quite a little bit of extra damage in. It's amazing how quickly that sort of racks up. We might even get some little cheeky shots on some of the enemies that pass around the back. Still got all our shredders, of course, doing work. Our little, little network of cutting towers. And look, oh, we got plus one health damage. So now all towers should automatically gain plus one on the health damage, which is really nice as well. That's well worth having. Still got a lot of these armoured enemies to deal with. Think about upgrading a few of these poison towers, actually, so they, they just get that extra little bit of damage in. Look at these towers. They're starting to get quite high level, actually. So it means they do more damage, particularly against the shielded units, which is kind of our hardest thing to deal with. Oh, we've got... A glut of armoured monsters coming down the mountain, which we are going to have to deal with. Just get these uh, these towers upgraded slightly. The mana, ooh, we're holding for now. Got to keep an eye on that mana to make sure we're not dropping below a sustainable level. Quite a chunk of enemies coming down. We are level 36 now, so we would expect this to be difficult, but quite a lot of them coming down. Remember, we've only got to get to 39 and we're going to be setting a new record. But we've got a big armoured clump coming down here. Hopefully these poison towers can kind of do the work. They sort of are getting the slowdown as well, which is nice. Good job, Frost Keeps. Good job. They can keep the uh, the shield damage in so this stuff thing can't get through the next wave. Then we should be good. Yeah, okay. We're not looking too bad there. Oops. Didn't mean to place you quite there. Let's get you at least on the plus one. There we go. Get a few little extra ballista towers in. Remember, these ballista towers have so many benefits. That plus nine health. The 20% crit, the slow, as long as others, makes them really kind of quite effective. Um, what are we going to go for then? Increased poison damage? Increased maximum poison a second by plus 26. Things are definitely starting to get a little bit more difficult now. Some of the amount of uh, shield some of these enemies are starting to get is making things pretty close. So we're on to wave 39. The last wave I thought we were almost going to be game over though. I think it's going to be kind of challenging. I tried to set up some towers beforehand to try and start to deal with some of these more shielded enemies. Just having such a hard time really getting the 
sort of amount of poison damage that we really need to get in to deal with a lot of this stuff. Because there's just so many of them as well. Which is what really makes it so difficult. I may actually just set this to progress. It sounds silly to not target the most shielded enemies, but actually that, that means it probably just fires in a straight line. And then it's going to get all the shield damage on them anyway. So we really need to be taking some of these guys down a lot, lot more. Because look how quickly they're starting to get. Look at this wave we've got coming on here. There's so many of them. Doesn't matter how many ballista towers I build, I don't think I can deal with this lot. Try and get a few more in. We're starting to get up to the first wheel wave. We have got some damage in on some of them, which is nice. And the obelisks, of course, doing their job of dealing with the armor users, but <laughs> some of these shielded enemies. Look at this big wave we've got going through. The frost keeps trying to slow them down, but some of them are quite quick. And they're armored as well, which means they're going to start to get through to the next wave. Yeah, here, starting to break through. Valley of Death's going to have to earn its keep now. Come on, Obelisk. Keep on top of everything. Good job. Good job. Good job, Poison Towers. Wow, I'm really actually kind of impressed we got that far. That was quite lucky. Okay. We're going to set a new record. We are looking pretty good. Wave 40. And you'll notice that because we're getting so near the end now, each time these things are turning into like little, little mini portals or something like that, I'm hoping that trying to sort of spread these out so the waves kind of arrive at different points. You can see all my little extra poison towers I've kind of been setting up. I just don't know if they can realistically do enough to really help us here. I was thinking about setting up a mortar but I'm not sure they're going to be that helpful really in the current kind of meta. There's just so much stuff and so much armoured stuff which I think is meaning that my shredders which were once so dominant no longer quite do the damage that they once did. Okay, first part of the wave. It's just going to be basically a continuous wave now until the end. First part of the wave is turning up. Starting to break through, but they are starting to keep on top of the shield damage, which is nice. Obelisks have got quite a lot of work to deal with to get down some of these more armoured users. A few more of them starting to creep in, actually, rather than just shield. Which I almost prefer. The armour is kind of easier for me to deal with, I think, than it is the shield. Because look, so far a lot of these pushing through are pretty low on health, actually. So hopefully as they reach this point, a lot should go down. Yeah, nice, nice. Hopefully keeping on top of them. I can barely even see the map for the amount of stuff. And the mana situation looks like it's struggling. I'm going to have to maybe get another mana bank up. Let's get a few more up. We've got the money. So let's not risk losing because we run out of mana. Crikey, we're still not really recovering, is it? Even though we're up to 130 mana a second. We're going to fill the map with mana banks. Surrounding this one little, poor little iron ore node. <laughs> um, okay, mana situation kind of creeping back up. 142 per second. <laughs> Shows how many towers we've got deployed now. I can't believe we're still holding. And looks like we're going to get through the wave, which is unbelievable. Come on, guys. Keep it up. Keep it up. You're doing great. Oh, and we're going to hold them here as well, which is exactly what we want. Get a little cheeky extra ballista on there. Must have missed that as a spot. Actually fit a cheeky little ballista there as well. Wowzers, I think we're just going to focus really on getting some extra towers in place just so we can keep up the damage as they kind of make their way around. Maybe a couple of flame towers here, which is kind of like a fairly key junction it seems. So we get that early burn on, just so that by the time they reach the rest of the stuff they're already on fire. That's kind of the idea at least. Ooh, these guys actually pushing relatively far in, I thought we were going to deal with them better. There you go, come on, keep shooting them down. Okay, nice. Mr. Ballista's kind of dealt with them. These guys are slow, but they're obviously very well armoured. I think they're... Are they floating portals? <laughs> not, in, not entirely sure what they're supposed to be. Let's get the upgrade on a couple of these... Um, a couple of these obelisks, just so they do a bit more damage. Actually, a fairly stubborn wave coming in now. Some of them getting thro frozen by that, that 3% freeze chance that we have on the Ballista, which can be kind of handy for buying some time. Okay, and that's the last of the wave. Oh, I can't believe we've actually gone and completed level 40. We're going to do 43. I, I, I can't believe it. Genuinely, this is going to be the highlight of my 2022 so far. <laughs> I've put so many hours into this game. I uh, can't believe we're actually going to look like we're going to get to 45 here. Come on. Oh, I can't believe it. Just get the last few to deal with on this wave. Then we've got 44, and then we've got what presumably is going to be a monster final wave. I hope we don't go and end up losing on the final wave. I'd be devastated. 
Come on, let's get these last bits of damage in. You never know, it would be nice if we got lucky on the university with a little bit of extra damage as well. What are we going to go for? Poisoned enemies take an extra plus one shield damage from all attacks. Now, that could be handy. Frost keeps though, extra plus three damage to health could also be pretty nice. I think maybe poisoned enemies take an extra plus one shield damage would be nice to have. Because that means that if they get poisoned, which is basically everyone, because they're going to get poisoned at the start of the map, ballistas are going to do plus one extra shield. Screw it. Let's go for it. 44. Are we ready? Only two places left to expand. Here we go. <laughs> Still got a bit of money to spend, actually. Let's think about... Uh, yeah, let's just get like extra poison sprayers down here. Put them onto that shield damage. Going to be worth doing, spending a little bit of money upgrading them. And then I think, actually, we might just spend some money upgrading the rest of the towers. Probably going to be worthwhile doing, particularly all these poison towers. Look, like some of them are getting like level 13. Pretty insane, actually, how high they are. Uh, maybe even some of these little obelisks are worth upgrading. Level 14 on the obelisk. Six mana a shot. Getting fairly expensive. But even the uh, even the mortars now, what, 17? That's pretty epic as well. Got a little bit of an armor damage multiplier bonus. Just go around getting all these up. It's worth the money for the extra damage that it gives us. Even our little frost keeps up as well. So f oh, wow, there's so many of them. But look, we're actually getting the damage in. And this slow here we've got on this corner has been worth every penny of investment. I'm so pleased we've got these little frost keeps up because it causes all this slowdown. It buys all these poison towers, the flame towers, the extra time they need to do the damage. And stuff. Oh, I mean, they're starting to get through this, this sort of second valley of death now. But we've still got two more big areas to go. They're not making that much progress. I mean, they're doing so much better than I thought they were going to. And then we've still got the towers here. Still a bit of stuff to come, but we are starting to get good progress. A lot of this stuff, I think, when it dies, it spawns these smaller little things here. And even though they're not that strong, they are fast. And they're kind of hard for us to deal with. But look how quickly they're going down. And the wave is actually, actually genuinely starting to come to an end now. I think we're going to do this. One more little poison sprayer on there. We've got 5,000 gold left to spend. Just get a little bit some upgrades on some of these towers. Worth the investment. Well worth the investment. Let's get that up. Get that up. We're going to be on to level 45. Genuinely can't believe it. So hyped. Last few people on the way, 44. Come on, let's take the last few of them down. Last pick, last pick of the game. And I'm tempted to say that we should make them suffer. Oh no, poison towers plus three damage to shields. Uh, sorry, even though it would be kind of nice to make them suffer, we're going to fumigate them instead. Because that is definitely the best one. Because that gives those poison towers that plus seven, seven, or even plus seven. I'm so excited that I can't even speak. Let's just get the last few upgrades then. Um, what else are we going to upgrade? Maybe these ballistas one more time. Ballistas? These, um, I just can't speak anymore. These obelisks one last time. We might as well spend the money. Can't take it with us. Let's just get all these poison towers. Maximum shield upgrades. So they can do as much damage as physically possible. This is it. The final showdown. I don't know if we're going to get a boss here or not. Oh, we do. Big brain Oogie. Oh, God. That actually looks fairly hard to deal with. He's, he's got a very long way to walk, so hopefully it means we can deal with some of the other wave before he gets there. If we can isolate him so he's on his own when we have to deal with him, I think we'll be okay. But if we can't, I think that's where the problems are going to arise for us. I'm probably just going to save the money to see what happens. Because if the wave starts to get through this final little wave here... We need to throw down some emergency poison defense towers down here, or maybe an emergency obelisk or something, to try and save the match. Oh dear. Well, these guys are leveling up. If they're, if they're close to leveling up, let's get the extra extra upgrades on them. It's worth it. It's worth it. Got to keep an eye on our mana as well to make sure that doesn't overwhelm us. Oh, there's so much stuff. So much stuff trying to make their way around this corner. Where's Big Brain? Okay, he is actually going to be towards the back of the pack, which is actually really what we want. 
That is really nice. So long as we can deal with this just sort of huge epic cluster. Oh look, they're starting to make a bit of progress now. Starting to get towards the end of here. Although maybe still under control actually and we've still got some guys here to deal with them. As long as Big Brain is to the end of the pack then we've got some chance. You can see he's starting to take a bit of poison damage. God, look how many health stacks he's got in there. It's ridiculous, he's got 40,000 poison damage already. Oh, he is pretty strong. Oh, they're starting to get a little bit of progress here now, look. Ooh. Oh, I'm nervous. Up to 9,000. I suppose we should be getting more um, things like more obelisks in and stuff. It would be silly not to, wouldn't it? But where are we going to put them? There is a plus one down here. Let's just build loads of them. I mean, screw it. Why not? I mean, when you've got this much money, it doesn't really matter, does it? It's going to be a drain on the mana, mind, but I suppose that's not really too bad. Just get some of these upgraded. These are just to deal with, just to deal with Big Brain if he gets through. So we've got all the focus basically on Big Brain now. Oh, he's getting frozen by some of the mana hit, some of the hits from the ballistas. Up to, up to almost a hundred thousand poison damage now. But he has still got a lot of armor left. We're not even a third of the way through his total. But I think the shield should probably be the worst. I'm, I'm hopeful anyway. Um. Yeah, let's just see how this develops. I'm not going to get any more money now. These ballistas are really getting good with a little bit of their freeze chance, which is really nice to have. And it looks like we're basically through the shield and onto armor. Oh, he's deploying some minions. Which is going to make our life a little bit more difficult. But really, he's still the main problem for us. Every time we freeze him, that's really good. Oh, look, he's deployed some real armored dudes as well. Oh, God, if he's going to do that, that is going to make life more difficult. I hope our little our little extra obelisks are able to kind of How much is he taking armor damage here? Oh, and he's fortified himself. I'm not sure we're gonna be able to do this. Oh, I could feel I can feel the devastation already, because look how many people he's deploying just out of himself, which is gonna make it really hard for us to deal with. The obelisks are gonna go for him now. Make sure the mana holds up, but it should do because none of the other stuff is firing. Because he's going to be the most armoured. It should do a lot of armour damage to him. Not going to be enough though, is it? Come on, bring that armour down. Oh, the freeze we need. The freeze was good. Yes, keep up the freeze. Keep up the freeze. Come on, bring him down. Bring him down. It's going to be so close. The freezing is being super helpful. But he's through. He's fortified himself. And he's deployed a lot more stuff. All of which should be able to get through. Is all we can really do now is try and go for... What are we going to go for? What are we going to go for? More ballistas, I think. I don't care if the smaller stuff gets through. But ultimately, Big Brain has got to die. And I just don't know if we can get enough ballista damage on it. Look, his health is barely even moving. He's barely taking any damage. Now, basically, we're basically out of money now. Uh, I wonder if we can pause here and change these to focusing most health. Oh, no, I can't do it. I tried. Oh, <laughs> God damn it. I can't believe we have failed. I tried to move some things around, but you can't place towers while you're paused. And I just couldn't get them placed down quickly enough. Ah, oh, but I don't think we would have been able to get enough damage on Big Brain anyway. He just deploys so much extra stuff. It did set us a very stunning new record, but I can't believe we have failed when we were so close to the very end. And look, he still keeps deploying stuff, which makes him so, so effective. Well, I am pretty devastated, can't deny it, but hopefully you've at least enjoyed the video. If you have, do let me know what you think in the comments down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel for lots more rogue tower thanks for watching guys i shall see you all on the next one